Hello and welcome back for some more Mathlicious Maths. So here we go about reviewing areas and circumferences of a circle when we're going forward. So this should be quite straightforward for you. So to remind you, the radius is from the centre to the edge. The formula is area is pi r squared, which means the area is pi times r times r. So again, we do the same things. I draw a diagram, I label my diagram, I write the formula. Where the letters can be replaced, I replace them. So what we've got is 5 squared. What does 5 squared mean? It means that you're going to do pi times 5 times 5. And that gives you 25 pi. Now in the high school, you would leave your answers in terms of pi, but you have to remember to put the units on, which is centimetres squared. Now uh, we're going to use a um, mental check to think about what the answer could possibly be. So pi is three point something. 3 point and a little bit more. So we're going to use 3 as an estimate for pi. I'm going to times it by 25. 3 25s, of course, are 75. So I'm looking for a number around that. And this means approximately, because we're going to round to a certain number of decimal points. So on my calculator, I'm going to put 25 times the pi equals and see what I get. Your calculator might do it in a different order or the buttons are slightly different. You write down the instructions for your calculator. And when I've done that, I found the answer was 78.54 centimetres squared. And as you see, it's close to 75, so I'm very confident that I've got the right answer. So you can copy that board down, and then we're going to also do the circumference. So I'm going to move you across for the circumference. You can obviously go back again and copy it, rewind the video. So here we go with circumference, same uh, circle, R is 5 centimetres, so we're just going to replace the letters with the numbers. 2 is 2, pi is pi, and the r is 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so I have 10 pi. Again, if I was in the high school, you could stop, leave it in terms of pi, and write the units on. Now we're going to do a mental check again. Pi is roughly 3, so we're going to do 10 times 3, which is 30. So my answer should be around 30. And what I'll do is I'll take my calculator, uh, do 10 times pi on it, and then I'm going to get the answer... 31.4159, I'm just checking the numbers, 26, but you wouldn't want to write such a long answer. So I'm going to do it to two decimal places. And when I do that, I have to look at the 5. And the 5 is going to round the 1 to a 2. And again, it's centimetres because it's a length, not an area. So it's a length, it's how far you've gone around the edge of the circle. Couple of top tips. People forget which one's which. So if you've got the diameter and it tells you it's 12 centimetres, I would write down the radius because the radius you're going to use in the area formula. Um, if they give you the radius, you can always write down the diameter because you could have used C equals pi D. Okay? Because 2R is equal to D. So that 2 and the R could, re re excuse me, could be replaced by D. So that is another option that you could have used. But this is why I always tell people to do this, because they end up putting the diameter in for the radius or the radius in for the diameter when they're using the formulas. And that's all you need. So copy the notes down, and it'll be time to start some questions.